What up guys, Brew and Steel here, and this is my victory lap for last night's game, and man, we beat the Tennessee Titans 40-17, to what a performance last night. Last night's game was just absolute, unbelievable, best performance that I probably have seen so far this season by my Steelers, but anyways, we beat the Tennessee Titans 40-17, to and I didn't get a chance to do the victory lap last night. I was so tired after the game. I ordered Domino's food, shit like that. And I had some people watch the game with me, but they left a little bit early. So, but anyways, talking about the game, this is, like I said, the best performance that I've seen so far. Most likely the best performance. And we just demolished the Tennessee Titans. But, you know, props to the organization and the fans, the players on the great you know, game. It was a great game to be proud of. I honestly thought the Titans would put up a fight, but second half, we, we were just a team that showed up last night, and, you know, they gave us problems in the first half. Their defense showed up in the first half, but second half, they just, they were a dumpster fire. They just collapsed, and, you know, pretty much the only play of the game that they had that was really good in the second half was the opening drive. It was, I believe... A whatever touchdown was a touchdown pass early to Richard Matthews, whoever his name is, a receiver on the Titans. That was the only good play that he they had in the second half. Um, Marcus Mariotti, uh Marcus Morero, Marcus Mariota had like two touchdown rushes, but he took it in the house. He took two touchdowns by himself and threw one. Uh, and definitely the Steelers. The Steelers had four touchdown passes by Big Ben. You know, three of them a hat trick to Antonio Brown, and one to I believe to Jesse James. You know, it was complete bullshit because the touchdown before the pe the ball was passed to Jesse James, it was Levon Bell sneaking in. It was bullshit because you know it looked like Marcus Mariota's touchdown sneak, but you know they overturned Levon Bell's. Um, touchdown run, but for on um, fourth down, on um, third down, you know, Ben Rosberger just fooled the fuck out of me. It was a fake pass. It was a fake, um, it was a fake give to Levon Bell and then end up being a um, fake, and then a pass to Jesse James. You know, honestly, I think that Ben had a great game. You know, he threw almost over 300 yards. Four touchdowns. I think he threw one interception. I can't remember. We picked off Marcus Mariota four times last night. Antonio Brown was the hat trick. The first, the first touchdown pass was to him in the first half. The I think it was the opening drive. I'm not sure, but he had one in the first quarter, and then he had, I believe he had a touchdown pass. He had a helmet catch that was spectacular. That was just amazingly, oh, just awesome catch by him. Helmet catch in the end zone. And then he had a second um, touchdown pass catch. Uh, Levan Bell rushed for, I can't remember how much he had rushed. I, I, I knew I had to look at stats before I do this video, but I know that Ben Rosberger almost reached 300 yards passing. Um, Marcus Mirarodi only had... 200, I believe. I can't remember. But, Martavis Bryan. Oh, so many goddamn penalties. These referees trying to give the fucking game away to the Titans. Like, really, get the fuck out of your refs. The refs are just been terrible this year. And, you know, there was three. I remember there were three penalties on us. Like, three in a row. It was a face mask. And it was roughing the passer or something. That was bullshit. Roughing the quarterback or passer. And there was a couple false stores. It was just ridiculous. Uh, we had a blocked field goal. That was good. We blocked the field goal. Uh, JJ, uh, JJ Watt. No, not JJ Watt. DJ Watt was the block. Turned down for what, boy? But anyways. Um, Juju Smith has, I believe, three receptions for 74 yards. I think so. God, I, I should just look at stats, but I'll, I'll look it up right now. I have it open. So Ben Rosberger, 299 yards before touchdown. He didn't have any interceptions. Levan Bell had 12 carries for 46 yards, zero touchdowns. 
Um, receiving, Juju Smith, he had four receptions of 47 yards. Not bad. Uh, Martavis Bryant only had two um, receiving yards for 30 yards, and Jesse James only had five for 24 yards. It's not bad, but, you know, um, props to our defense. I just loved our defense. You know, I really like this Cody um, Sensenberg kid. Um, he uh, he had one interception, his first uh, interception of his career. Sean Davis had an interception. Mike Hilton. I love this kid, though. Mike Hilton is really good. I really like him. And Robert Golden. He, he had his interception, you know. But anyways, Artie Burns with eight tackles. Um, Ryan Shade there had five tackles and assists. It was pretty good. We had we sacked Marcus Mariota a couple times. I think we sacked him four times, five, I believe. It says it there, five times. Uh, Chris Boswell um, did a great job. He missed one field goal in one of our previous games. But anyways, let me just look up. Um, I have the Titans players here. Marcus Mariota, has, he had over 300 yards, one touchdown. Um, he passed the ball, four interceptions. Eric Decker tried to throw a pass. I remember that play. Uh, the guy that receiver, oh yeah, Richard Matthews had one, um, one um, touchdown. So that was the really big play they had in the second half. But anyways, Antonio Brown's an absolute beast. He had 144 yards. And... You know, we're eight and two. This is the best you know, this is the best Steelers team I've seen, you know. Ever since the Big Ben era, you know, we ever since we had Big Ben as a rookie, you know, he just came in and then we had a fifteen and one record, I believe. Yeah, we had a fifteen and one record. And, you know, we this is the first time we ever went eight and two under Mike Tomlin, I believe, yeah. And, you know, throughout the game, you know, I heard, like, you know, fire Todd Haley. This is what I have to say about Todd Haley, though. Honestly, he's a average, you know, offensive coordinator, offensive um, coach. But, you know, a lot of people are saying that, oh, he needs to go because, the you know, the bad play calling, you know. And I agree, the bad, the play calling is just absolute been shit lately. But, you know, Todd Haley, he... I, I, you know, I, I think he knows what, I think, I do believe he, I um, know that, I do believe that Tom Haley knows what he's doing, but some of the times he can be a dumbass, so, you know, do I think Tom Haley eventually needs to go? Probably, yes, um, but anyway, it's just what it is, Ben Mossberger, you know, First half wasn't our, you know, the best performance. We just, we had a great drive with Ben that put us 7 nothing, and then, you know, the Titans struck. You know, the second half wasn't the best football that I've seen. Second half came and it was just, oh, we went baseball. But anyways, we got the Green Bay Packers next week and, you know, I can't wait for this game. But anyways, we're 8-2. Hopefully we get this record going. Hopefully win another one on um, at home. We we play Green Bay Packers at home and hopefully we win it. So I'm Bruin Steele. Shout out to the Steeler video makers on here. Shout out to our leader, the Renegade 412. Shout out to MacMan70, Inside Wrestling Truth, aka Josh, MacMan70, Inside Wrestling Truth, Steel Jedi, Steel Jackson. Steel Legends, Steel Maiden, the Steel Twins, Steel 74, um, new member Austin, and Steel Lady of Steel, and the rest of the Steeler fans, Eric of Steel, and Richie, and there's other ones that I can't remember what their actual YouTube name is, and shout out to all Steeler fans around the world, and make videos, comment on my video, but anyways, I'm Bruce Steel, and I'm out.